Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. With more details on the upcoming Michael Jackson biopic being reviewed, it's no surprise that there will be a few misconceptions. One of which is a new song that Jafar Jackson supposedly released, and fans are having mixed reactions. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Horseman, and in this week's video, we will discuss Jafar Jackson's new song and whether or not it's fake. So on Tuesday, February 13th, a new song supposedly by Jafar Jackson was released on, on, on music platforms titled Rebirth of Michael, and fans are speculating on the authenticity of the single and whether or not it's, it's official. As far as I know, neither Jafar nor the MJ State's official social media has announced or talked about the song. Going off the song's title, you think that Michael Jackson's name would be mentioned in the song? Um, nope. And just by looking at the lyrics, it seems more like a love song than a song for Michael. The song's title honestly reminds me of when October London released an album last year titled The Rebirth of Marvin, because a lot of people say that he sounds a lot like Marvin Gaye. Anyway, so when it comes to The Rebirth of Michael, it doesn't seem far stretched that it hardly mentions Michael's name, just as long as the flow and the instrumental sounds like Michael's. Another cause for the speculation is the single cover, with some comparing the poor design to the original cover for Michael Jackson's Bill of 40 album. Um, and, and as for the lyrics and, Jafar, and Jafar's voice, many theorize that this song was AI generated. Um, upon hearing this song several times, I doubt that's the case. Um, I know an AI song when I hear it, and this is not AI generated. According to Jackson's source on Instagram, who has Jackson's family recognition and support, Jafar Jackson has not approved nor authorized this song. Recently, Jafar and his team has released a statement regarding the song. Here is the full statement. Uh, they, they, said, uh, they said, quote, The track that recently leaked on streaming platforms under the title Rebirth of Michael by Jafar Jackson is actually Universe of Love, a collaboration between Jafar, Mike K. Jackson, and, and I'm probably going to butcher this name, but Mishkish in 2016. Jafar Jackson did not authorize this song's release and is, and is not related to the Michael Jackson biopic that is currently in the works. Mike K. Jackson, no relation, is a, is, a music produced, is a music producer and engineer and recently released a statement on, on his Instagram about the song Rebirth of Michael. His statement reads, recently someone linked the song Jafar Jackson, Miskit, and I, and I did a couple of years ago. While I don't support the unauthorized release of the music, I can say that it was an, it was an absolute blast to write. The song is actually called Universal Love. Not, not Rebirth of Michael, which is a ridiculous title. Anyway, as long as it's out there, enjoy. And at the, at the time of writing the script, the song has been removed from all streaming platforms, including Spotify and Apple Music. Now, the question remains, if Jafar and his team didn't release a the song, then how did it pop up on Spotify and other platforms? Well, so, well someone mentioned in an edited comment on on Reddit that someone must have hacked Jafar's Spotify and uploaded the song, uploaded the song, the song themselves. And they also mentioned that something similar happened to The Weeknd and Drake a few years back when their account was hacked and someone uploaded an AI generated, AI generated song titled "Put My Heart in My Sleeve" or some, or, some, or something along the lines of that. And honestly, this is this is the most logical theory. There have been insta instances in the past few years where people would hack into Spotify profiles of singers and musicians and upload unrelated instrumentals and material. As fans eagerly await the Michael Jackson biopic, this incident, this incident reminds us to approach un unexpected releases with, the, with a discerning eye, recognizing the importance of official announcements and authorized releases in the never-evolving landscape of the music industry. Well, folks, that's the end of today's video. I hope you, I hope I was able to keep you guys informed. In my next video, I will give you all the information on the casting choices for the Michael Biopic, along with more details. I apologize for the slow uploading schedule. I recently received a copyright strike on my channel for uploading the Castaways movie. 
so I'm trying to avoid any videos that may lead me to another one. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and ring the bell icon so you, won't, so you won't miss my latest videos, including updates on a Michael Jackson biopic. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.